Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of the Albuquerque Chupacabra series. Uh, hopefully this won't be too emotional, um, but I, I thought that it would be time to uh, end the series. I mean, the series kind of ended with the us winning, repeating as champions, and probably would have won a few more titles if, if uh, 2K19 wasn't coming out on Friday. Um... Or at least for pre- I think pre-orders coming out on Friday? I'm not sure. Um, all I know is that... Yeah, I think it's pre-order. Anyway, Friday will most likely be when the first episode of the 2K19 Albuquerque Chupacabra series comes out. Either that or some sort of My League or My Career video. It'll be a 2K video. Maybe multiple. We'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, this has been... Probably my my favorite series that I've done on this channel. Um, I thought it would be quite appropriate to sort of end or start the final episode on the way the first episode started on this screen. As you can see, this is the m main menu. Look at a uh, oh man, you got the tornadoes, you got the nobles, you got the chupacabras. Then we got the Pacers, which was my solo, my, uh, when I could, um, my league that I was doing. But let's hop in one last time. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through, I guess, like, everything. I, was, <laughs> I want, I want this video to be special. My, I, I, <sighs> so... I guess we went, we did 10 years of Chupacabras. That works out pretty well. 10 years, we won two championships. We made it to like a thousand conference finals and lost a bunch of playoff games. But it, in the end, um, Chupacabras close out Pelicans, win NBA title. I feel like I will also in this episode, I will go through the off season with you guys just to see where everyone gets drafted because that would be such a, such a cuck if I didn't. <laughs> so I will do that, don't you worry. This is going to be probably a long episode, but it's going to be worth it. Um, <clears throat> the only remaining player from the original team is Jason Tatum. Um... Which, it actually, could, if you think about it, it's probably more impressive that we still have someone from the original team. The first player we ever drafted probably would have retired a Chupacabra. Darren Fox was definitely our best player we ever had. I mean, at his peak, Jason Tatum was probably better, but in playoff games... In playoff games, De'Aaron Fox and uh, Malachi Richardson were just next level. Obviously, we made that trade for Delk. Um, my favorite, probably my favorite player besides Fox, has to be Floyd Dunn. Um, I we I drafted him in a year when we just needed centers because I think we had just traded Demarcus Cousins or something like that, or maybe it was the year later, a year later. And uh, I was like, oh, maybe one of these guys will turn out. And we also drafted this, like, second round 7-3 guy. And I, at the time, I remember liking him better. But then um, the year we tanked, Floyd Dunn had that 17-point season, 10 rebounds, 2.5 steals, and nearly 2 blocks. And I was just like, I knew something. I knew this guy was going to be special. His points dropped, but... I mean, look at his numbers this year. He came off the bench for most of the season, I think. Okay, maybe not most of the season. But uh, still, great numbers. Um, we ended up at least having all of my friends play on the team at one point. First me, then Nick. Nick and William, I think, joined at the same time. William is Ryder, by the way. Nick is Magnus Trent. Andrew Frona is Andrew slash Brick Cheeks, and obviously Dylan Handsome was me. Um, 
Maybe next year I can add some more of my friends or something like that. I don't know. I don't. Not that I have any more friends. I mean, just make up some friends. Um, coaching wise, we had a lot of different coaches. I mean, I think our first coach was. Oh my God! There's no way I'm gonna be able to remember. I know we had a bearded, defensive-minded coach at one point, uh, who we fired for Dwayne Wade. I think we had like an Asian coach at one point. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think we ever had like an actual existing coach. But I guess you guys can correct me if you guys remember differently. Uh, let's see. Transaction reports. That's not gonna be very interesting. Um, Akibu is a free agent, or I guess we probably have a player option or something. Um, coaching, system, oh yeah, we had so many different styles. I mean, we started off <clears throat> being like a running gun team with Dante Exum and Jason Tatum, and then we got DeMarcus Cousins, so we played a bit through like the post and passed out to three-point shooters, guys like Mac Harrison and stuff like that. Um, we had Donna Watts. He was like a six, six, 64 overall defensive power forward. Only reason I started him is because he had like an A uh, interior defense, and I was just like, ooh, I like the idea of a second-round pick immediately starting. I don't know why, but that was that was a spicy one. Um... Obviously, Tatum and Fox have... Ooh, Akibu as well. We actually had some star power at, on this team at, after a while. Welsh is a one star. I'm surprised... Um, Daquan Carter isn't at least a one star. Half a star. Team comparison. Let's just scroll through this real quick. Chupacabras, 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 Chupacabras. Oh. Oh. People actually think the Lakers would beat us. I mean, look at those grades, though. Raptors as well. Well, we proved that wrong in the finals, didn't we? But yeah, other than that, it's all chupacabras. Um, team rivals. Minnesota is actually our biggest rival. Interesting. Or maybe it's the Lakers. I feel like it would be the Lakers. Um... Golden St Oh no, I'm just swapping it. Swapping the team I'm looking at. So yeah, Minnesota was our biggest rival. Interesting. Wait, hold on a second. How is that rival score 96? Why is this one bigger? Does it just have to do with all time 27 and 13? <laughs> Got him. Let's look at the Lakers. Oh, we have a losing record against the Lakers. Maybe that's why. Um, we have a losing record against the Hawks. How? We have a losing record against the Charlotte Hornets. Jesus. Losing record against the Wizards. Losing record against the New York Knicks. Winning record. Oh, losing record against the Celtics. Man, we suck. We dominated the West, but uh, apparently the East is pretty good. Las Vegas Aces. Ah, oh, cool. They actually have them on, on here. Rival score one. I felt like that'd be bigger. We played them in the playoffs a few times. Um, expansion. Oh, yeah. The Seattle Sonics. We're going to join in. I'm definitely going to have more expansion teams more often probably in 2K19. Of course, unless you guys think that's stupid, <coughs> let me know in the comments below. Um... Total budget, $140 million. Small market, 100% fan interest. Two championships, eight playoff appearances. Average age, 27. Last last year's record, we didn't improve. <clears throat> Unless it's talking about this year and the game's just... Ooh. You can look at... Wow. Most of our shots... Maybe that's not even a surprise that... A thou about a thousand... Oh my gosh, we took a lot of shots inside. Maybe that's not, I, like... Okay, that seems to be... I wonder what... Warriors. It's definitely less, but... Interesting. Um, 
It's not a surprise that we got Darren Fox as a point guard. Um, what else can we look at? Uh, all this stuff. I mean... Oh, you can look at all the past seasons. Oh, we can look at our records. Okay, so our, our starting record... Oh, yeah, because I tried to make the playoffs the first year. We've never had less than... Oh, no. We did have less than 39 wins. But, I mean, look at the... We, we won 78 wins at... 78. 58 wins at one point. Did we have DeMarcus for that, or was that the year we had... No, it wasn't De'Aaron Fox Booker, because we were struggling that year. I wonder what year that was. But we brought it back, so that's good. Strengths. Mid-range shooting, three-point shooting, attacking the basket, steals, creating own shot. No weaknesses. Damn. Alright, let's take a look at power rankings. I mean, we can't look at... La at past power rankings, so. I do kind of want to know, like. Uh, did we. Team. No. No. Maybe I. Maybe it's over here still. Alright. All star participants. Jason Tatum. How many. All stars did he end up getting to? Only four. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, that's nearly half of his career being an all-star. A lot of defensive... Well, not a lot. Two defensive awards. He was most improved player at one point. All-NBA team a couple of times. And two-time NBA champion. He'd be a Hall of Famer, no... Hall of Famer, no question. Hall of Faber. Um, I don't care about this. NBA records. None of our guys were good enough at one thing enough to be in the NBA records. I've We already looked. But we can look at this. All right. Total points. Tatum pretty much dominates this. He never got 50, though. DeMarcus Cousins as well. Uh, field goals made. Yep, it's pretty much the same. Three pointers made. Now this is what surprised me. Marcus Robinson. Wasn't he like an athlete or something? Interesting. Very interesting. Tatum. Tatum as well. That doesn't surprise me. Tatum had a very good shooting stroke. Free throws made. Once again, Jason Tatum. Every every position. Rebounds. Now here is this pretty much just shows you who our centers were, our starting centers, because William Ford appears, Floyd appears twice, DeMarcus Cousins and Alan, Alan Delk. He managed to get himself on this list. Good for him. Um, assists. And this, boom, who our starting point guards were. Dante Exum with the top two, and then De'Aaron Fox with the next three. He had four... F oh my gosh. 14 assists quite a few times. Never had 23, though. Dante Exum can say that. That may have even been, like... That was, like, one of our first games, I think. Or maybe it was one of our first games with DeMarcus Cousins. But I tend to remember that. I remember playing that game, I think. Um, blocks. Terrell Ball. Oh, my gosh. Ah, that was such a mistake trading him, in my opinion. Because, you know, we got Delk, but... Terrell Ball should have retired at Chupacabra. Maybe in our head cannon, like when he was like 37, he came back and won, a, won another ring with us. In our head cannon. Um, steals. Floyd Dunn makes an appearance on this list. Otherwise, you got Jason Tatum three times with seven steals, and Darren Fox at the top of the list with eight. Goddamn, boy. Um, this is an interesting one. Minutes per game. Jason Tatum makes an appearance, Jordan Bell makes an appearance, and Morris Jacobs is on here three times, all of which have 48 minutes per game. I'm sure there's 
a reason for this. Like we were tanking. It was probably near the end of the year of the tanking season. And we were just like giving all the minutes to young players. Um, turnovers per game. Jason Tatum appears on here three times. Dante Exum at the top of the list with 10. And Malachi Richardson uh, finishes off the list with 8. Alright. Uh, let's go to playoff records. So this is a bit more diversified of a list, but still, Jason Tatum is on here three times. Darren Fox just below him with 41, and DeMarcus Cousins tied with Darren Fox with 41. Uh, field goals made. Field goals made. Jason Tatum, DeMarcus Cousins. Boom. Darren Fox twice. DeMarcus Cousins again. Ooh, three-pointers made in a playoff game for the Chupacabras. J.R. Smith, the number one, with eight. Malachi Richardson. He really was J.R. Smith 2.0, and actually probably was better for a large proportion of the, his time here. He is uh, tied with J.R. with eight. Uh, Jason Tatum with seven. J.R. Smith with six, and Jason Tatum with six. Free throws made. Our original big three, DeMarcus Cousins, Jason Tatum, Dante Exum. Rebounds in a playoff game. William Ford, number one. That doesn't really surprise me. Alan Delk got 18. Then we got Jason Tatum with 18 at some point. <laughs> Was that a simulated game? Because I do not remember that. Uh, Floyd Dunn, William Ford. <sighs> Ugh. Huh. Man, this is... This is this is, I'm just like remembering all the good times, man. I gotta go back and rewatch the entire series before 2K19 and just... Well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. There's not enough time. Um, but, uh, you know what I mean. Just, uh, you know, nostalgia. Uh, it's been a year, guys. It's been a freaking year. Uh, I think on the 14th or 15th of September, which it is that month now. <laughs> In like 10 days, it'll have been a year since the first episode came out. Maybe even... Sometime this week, I can't actually remember. I think 2K is coming out a week sooner, but I don't know. Uh, De'Aaron Fox just dominates the playoff list of assists. Um, Jason Tatum, number one in blocks in a playoff game. Seven. Floyd Dunn also had seven. He also had six. Terrell Ball had six. Jason Tatum had five. Tatum was a really good defender uh, at the end. Um, like He was just like our main perimeter defender besides... Um, well, actually, I was going to say besides uh, Daquan Carter, but we used him more to defend point guards. Also, Malachi Richardson could really defend. He had long arms. Kind of like, uh, he was like what I wanted Jeremy Lamb to be when we first got him. But uh, Jeremy Lamb was too slow. Didn't shoot as, as good. Oh, Jeremy Lamb. That's another freaking guy I forgot about. Jeremy Lamb. wonder where he is. Probably retired. Because uh, he sucks. Darrell Ball. Darrell. Cool. Uh, let's move on from steals, minutes, and Tatum just dominates this category. Uh, ooh! Even in the afterlife, your boy's getting yeet-dabbed. Mac Harrison leads the list of playoff turnovers. Um, Ronda Hillis Jefferson, another, another guy that just probably gets forgotten about. But he was like, when he was on the team, he was easily my favorite player. Um... Hence why he was a small forward, but I kept playing him at power forward because he was like our Draymond Green. Ugh, I made thumbnails just around him, because even though he wasn't our best player, just because I loved him so much. That Carmelo Anthony, um, Carmelo Clutch Thinny thumbnail. Man, I had so much fun making that. Ugh. Man, I really, I really am happy with how this series turned out, guys. Um, let's take a look at league history. I don't think we ever got an MVP. Oh, maybe we got one down here. Oh, no, no. I'll see myself out. Um, rookie of the year. Hakeem Akibu. Heck yeah. Um, a bunch of guys. Karan Taylor is on the list. Um, Billy Wood was on there. Let's see. Six man of the year. I'm surprised we never got this, but at the same time, not. I mean, I would have thought that... Um, Floyd Dunn would have won it this year, but sadly, no. Sadly, Ben Simmons won it somehow. Alan Delk, he was, he's on our team. <laughs> uh, doesn't really count, though. Juwan Evans won it twice. Interesting. 
Marcus Smart, Roger Rondo, Norman Powell, Eric Gordon. Oh, wait, that's just real life. Um, defensive player, Terrell Ball, boom. I'm sorry, Terrell. We, should have, we shouldn't have traded you. I, I, I disrespected you like that. I'm an ass. Um, Jason Tatum, most improved. We already knew that, but it's good to see it on the list. Justin Jackson, Charlie Leonard, Malik Monk. Malik Monk took a long time to be the most improved. Uh, CJ McCollum won it twice. Interesting. Um, all NBA first team. Jason Tatum, boom. I don't think we have anyone else. We might have DeMarcus Cousins at some point. Maybe not all NBA first team, but all NBA second team. There he is, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum again. DeMarcus Cousins, there we go. I was, yeah, yeah, I was sure that DeMarcus Cousins, he was on these. I don't. Um, all NBA third team. I don't know if we maybe Darren Fox at some point. Demarcus Cousins. Man, Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins, man. Rest in peace, Demarcus Cousins, being competitive. Um, Terrell Ball, all defensive first team. Jason Tatum, all defensive first team. Terrell Ball, all defensive first team. That's pretty dope. Floyd Dunn, all defensive second team. Aye, nice. Terrell Ball. Jason Tatum. I don't think anyone else will be on here. No. All rookie first team, Jay Welsh, Akiba Kibu. You probably got Tatum on here. Um wait, did I miss one? No, I didn't. Just seeing things. Yep, yeah, there we go. Tatum. Uh, Nwanko Lawal. <laughs> Nwanko. <laughs> Daquan Carter. Morris Jacobs somehow? Morris Jacobs. Why did we let him go? I think it was because he was terrible. Um, I saw my boy, Donna Watts. Machuffa. Thank you, Donna, for your time. Dono was really good. Well, no, he wasn't, but you know what I mean. Um, I don't think we ever won a coach of the year. No. Most valuable. All right. Uh, past champions. Hey, it's your boys. Um, let's go all the way back. So... So, one, two, three. On our, in our third season, we made the finals and lost to the Sixers. And we didn't make it back the next year. I think we lost to the either the Timberwolves or the Kings in the conference finals. I, it, clearly, it was the Kings. I can see it right here. Um, then we made it back to the finals. This was, this was the year we traded DeMarcus Cousins. Man, we really overreact. I really, we, I really overreacted. We lost in the finals, and the next year we didn't make the finals. So then th that year we traded to Marcus Cousins <laughs> and our starting point guard, but it ended up working out for the best because De'Aaron Fox, boom. Uh, we lost to the Knicks. Uh, I wasn't really invested in the in the series as much at this point, so that might have so had something to do with it. But uh, we then ended up trading Booker. Uh, Suns never won a championship, but it took us a while to get back to contention. And once we did, it was just like 
the spiral effect. League leaders, Tatum led the league in points at one point. Um, nope. Nope. Tatum led the league in steals. Boom. Tatum was a baller, bro. Baller, bro. Uh, who is this? Danelle Boone? It must have been someone that we gave minutes to for like three games. Who is Danelle Boone? Anyway, I'll look it up, but uh, Tatum's also on this list. Uh, Danelle Boone. All players. Where's the all players? Okay. This is going to take a second. Is this the year we tanked or something? No. Oh, yeah, he played five games. Cool. Um... What else can we look at? Awards. Team history. No retired numbers. Even though, in my head canon, we retired Jerry Smith's number. Retired jerseys, obviously none. Rule change history. Huh. I did not allow a lot of them. Alright, well, um, we've looked through everything. Now, why don't we move on to the offseason. Let's take a look at uh, what would be for next year. Let's go through player retirement. Russell Westbrook is retiring. James Harden. Steph Curry. Blake Griffin. So, some big names. Lance Stevenson. Eric Bloodsoe. Patrick Beverly. Deion Waiters, Harrison Barnes, Andre Roberson, Conventus, Cantavius, Caldwell Pope, Caldwell Pope, I can speak. A bunch of people I don't give a dingle about. Alright. Uh, staff retirement. Stan Van Gundy, finally. Get out of here. Uh, Jersey retirement, obviously. James Hart. Russell Westbrook is not on this list. That it must be a glitch. It's clearly a glitch because. It's Westbrook. He, pretty sure he played for the Thunder his entire career, unless he moved last minute and then it deleted all of his Thunder stats and all that stuff. Um, oh, I just skipped past, past league meetings, didn't I? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're not, we're not uh, playing. Next year. Um, ooh, we had Sacramento's pick. Alright, let's uh, skip to a lot of results. We had the 10th pick. Let's take a look. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll just scout the guys that I know are good. But... I do want to get some of the people at the top, so there we go. Um, all right, the moment of truth for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one play out, and we can see pick by pick who gets taken. Um, let's do it. All right, turn that down a bit so that it's not too loud. Even though for me it's extremely loud. Alright, let's see who goes number one. It's gonna be Trey Green, isn't it? Yeah. Trey Green. LeBron 2.0. Damn, son. I'm so excited. Trey Green is going to play for the Magic. Great pick. Number two. The Clippers. Who are they going to take? 
Gus Steel. Is that someone I made, or is that... Oh. 24 with 73 overall? Did the Clippers just take a bust? Uh, we'll see. Alright, let's see what this trade is. Oh! The Hornets have traded MJ Robinson and Dayaki Omine for the number three pick in Andre Drummond. MJ Robinson is a piston now? Right? Was Drummond a piston? No, Drummond was not a piston. Who did he play for? How do I... Where's social media? Oklahoma City. Huh. Okay. Garrett Moss. Oh, Gerard Moss. The horniest... The horniest pick. I'm sorry? Oh my god. The horniest pick ever. Everybody. Man, these, these GMs are tweaking. They're taking all these... 70 overalls, and there's like probably an 80 overall at least in there somewhere. I didn't even read that trade. You can tell that I'm looking forward to 2K19. I'm just skipping past everything. All right, the Magic have selected Tyler McKee with the fourth pick in the NBA draft. The Magic just traded away Evan Bellamy in a puzzling move that leaves the team without a starting caliber shooting guard. Well, they just drafted a great power forward. Not sure what to think about the moves the Bulls to get Evan Bellamy, as they now have a similar blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's the Bulls and the Magic. And we already know who they t they're taking. That's who I wanted. I think he's going to be really good. D'Angelo Russell, huh? The Suns have traded D'Angelo Russell to move up in the draft. He's clearly a bust from the moment they signed him or whatever. Stuart Moore. Don't know who that is, but interesting. All right, so the Suns have a top five pick now. Zachary Green. I think he's good. I think he's like athletic and stuff. So they traded away D'Angelo Russell for Zachary Green. Interesting. Chris Chase. Pistons take Chris Chase. The Suns take Austin Anthony. I think he's another created player. I hope you guys can actually hear. Ooh, Deshaun Jackson. That was another guy I was interested in. He's got the pink hair. Ooh, a trade right in front of us. Uh, let's take a look. All right, Donnie May and the number f nine pick for the number 11 pick and a first round pick in a couple drafts or something. Next year's draft. The Heat and the Cavs. Patrick Evans. Interesting. Um, all right, let's take a look at who's available. Uh, so Joe Baron is available. Chucky Norton is available. Hames Tipton. All NBA, dang. Bench, all star. Brandon Jennings, Greg Monroe, Joan Powell, Herb Williams, All Star. There's Jason Nelson, Ben Donner, All Star. We have to go with the John Stockton, right? I mean, he could be a bust, but he's 18 years old. Look at his overall abilities, though. It's trash. But, Darren Fox would be the perfect guy to train him, right? Maybe we should go with Baron. I mean, it doesn't really matter if he's a bust, honestly. And if he does end up becoming a star, then 
boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, plus, it's not like we're going to be able to play with him anyway, so boom. There you go. Hames Tipton. Welcome to the Chupacabras, if you're watching, buddy. And uh, everyone else I didn't draft, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be Deer and Fox 2.0, pretty much. Chucky Norton. Cavs. Um, let's actually sim to the next pick, and we can take a look at who gets picked where. Alright, 12th pick. Yari Paniti. Alright, I'm gonna decline trades. Draft summary. Alright, so Norton, Paniti, Jason Nelson went 13. Jawan Powell. Wow, a lot of centers in this draft, dang. Uh, to the Jazz. Van Donner, 15 to the Wizards. Joe Baron. Hey, you went to my team, the Bucks. Boom. Um, Darius Oakley, 17 to the Nets. Bradley Weatherford um, goes 18 to the Grizzlies. This is a deep draft. Um, Darren Daly, or Daly, to the Rockets, the 19 pick. Reed Strong, number 20 to the Hawks. Uh, St Stephen. Cox, number 20 to the Hawks. No, uh, Stephen Cox, uh, 29 to the Nuggets. Um, 22, Hornets, Shepard. Uh, Lorazo Munoz to the Warriors. Rain Norman to the Celtics. Dion Frazier to the Timberwolves. Cameron Martin to the Sixers. Gerald Skinner to the Trailblazers. Bannock Skillen. To the Pelicans. Steven Cheeks to the Pacers. Willis Morris to the Lakers. And Edmund Norris to the Raptors. We could take a potential All Star with the 32nd pick. That's how deep this draft is. What do we even need? Team needs. We need a power forward. Oh. Well, there you go. Bill Barry. About to draft a Barry, and he's the potential all-star. Boom. Wow. This has been a really, really tough draft. Bill Barry. There you go. All right. Can we sim to our... Yep. Sim to our last pick. I believe it's our last pick. Yep. And let's take a look at the second round. Who go? Who went where? All right, second round. Um, Ricky McGuire to the Bulls. Lyle Peterson to the Spurs. Alex Dalhauser uh, to the Grizzlies. Connor, J Bar Connor Barnes to the Pistons. Alonzo Jennings to the Suns. Alex Augustin to the Magic. Bobby Newton to the Mavericks. Davion Johnstock to the Cavaliers. Stevie Welsh to the Clippers. Douglas Griffith to the Kings. I'm not even going to try to say that name to the Knicks. Lowell Dunwavy to the Heat. Wilson Morris to the Aces. Kostas Grigoropoulos. I've definitely pronounced that right in the past, and I just am brain dead. Uh, to the Jazz. Uh, Jalen Brown to the Grizzlies. Brian Davies to the Nets. Clarence Richmond to the Bucks. I like the look of him. Peter Powers. Yes, what a name. To the Wizards. James Lane to the Hornets. Derek Fox to the Nuggets. Ugh, it's always the ones just before or just after that have the name that rhymes with the Hawks. Because Derek Fox to the Hawks is awesome. But no, it's KMNZs to the Hawks. Mitch Soto to the Rockets. Chip Cheney, that's a great name, to the Warriors. Christopher Carr, ooh, he looks like he's, he looks like he just punched somebody. 
Look at that. Look at the size of those arms. Dang. To the Timberwolves, Christopher Carr. Um, Raul Morales to the Celtics. Ben Gentry to the 76ers. Frederick, Frederick Elliott to the Thunder. Scott Anderson to the Pelicans. Keith Ruffin to the Pacers. Mo Mercer to the Raptors. Lester Drew to the Lakers. And finally, who are we going to pick? Let's take a look. Let's... Oh, wait. Hold up. We did it, guys. We accomplished our dreams. We managed to draft Bojangles McShabadoos to the Albuquerque Chupacabras. All right, boom. Uh, Bojangles McShabadoos. There you go. Welcome to the team. All right. Uh, all right, everyone accepted. The gang's coming back for another year. I don't care. We don't have any money to spend anyway. Lee Barrett. Oh my gosh. No, there's no way. Um, what's the best overall player we can get for the minimum? William Ford. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Whatever. We don't, we don't need. It ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing about hound, nothing about a hound dog. I've got so many good players already. All right, uh, let's go through this. This is how. Dang son. Um, take a look at how everyone's improving. I don't like to see Floyd Dunn going down like that, but you know can't win everyone every game uh summer league we're gonna skip that obviously let's see you know for all time's sake boom auto generate rookies 2k hoop summit we'll yeet dab right past that untapped potential we're just gonna and that one over to Barry. Where's McShabadoos? Could take a bit of that. We will. You can take a bit of that. All right, training camps. Skip past that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a proposition. Proposition, as opposed to an improposition. Um, if this video. I'm turning into one of those YouTubers. If this video gets 10 likes on Thursday, by Thursday, I will put out one final Albuquerque Chupacabras video. It'll be like DLC of one final game. It'll be against the Suns because they're our ultimate rival. Um, you know what? Let's just sim past this game. Boom. Immediately. It's a blowout. Um, one final game. One final game video, and that'll be the final episode, or I guess the 1.5 final episode of the Albuquerque Chupacabras. If this if this video gets like 10 likes, um, if it gets like 9 likes and people are saying in the comments to do it, of course I won't be like, you didn't get 10 likes, so, so um, but yeah, th that's the idea. I just want, if people really want to see this roster, 
one more time, then I'll put out a video. But uh, if not, we can just, you know, clean slate it and uh, start the uh, new series when, uh, on Friday when uh, the new game comes out. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. It has been my absolute pleasure to uh, go on this journey with you guys. And, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to starting a new one. So without further ado, this is Whippy Skykick signing off for potentially the final time in the Albuquerque Chupacabras of 2K18. See ya. See ya on Friday, everybody. Or maybe Thursday. Keeping it on. Goodbye.